Yo, what the fuck is going, Dan? Everybody, it's your boy Sauceman X. Check it back at your niggas with another goddamn video. But anyways, man, we have another political video in this goddamn bitch. Okay, back with another video, and you already see this shit by the title. Okay, you already see this shit by the title. Okay, this is we have a lot of shit to talk about in this video. Well, well, actually, we don't even have a lot of shit to talk about in this video because, of course, this is another one of these rid ridiculous fucking narratives once again that can easily be debunked. But we have a lot of we have a lot of other shit to talk about in this video other than just deb debunking the basic fucking myth. And this base this video is basically gonna be me branching out to a separate goddamn video that I'm gonna be making in the future about how Democrats literally don't do shit for black people, don't do shit for anyone. Okay, and they sell out everyone that votes for them, and they don't do anything for their communities, and they brainwash most people who vote for them, brainwash everyone that votes for them, because the other side is racist, and all the stigmatization that they have against people who have a different opinion like me, it is just ridiculous. So we already know, we have a lot of shit to talk about in this fucking video, in terms of that, or in the other videos in terms of that, but we already know, we have to talk about the quote-unquote racist tweets, okay, once again, because telling the truth... Because apparently now, telling the truth, saying things that are factual, are supposedly racist. Now, you can't tell the truth anymore without being racist. And it is just ridiculous. More bullshit, okay? More bullshit, double standard. It's basically just the left race baiting, okay? Race baiting all the time because that's the only argument they can, they, that's the only thing they can do. They can't present a legitimate argument to Donald Trump's tweet, so they just call it racist because they have no other legitimate way to argue against it because he's literally telling the truth and telling the truth is racist now. It's just ridiculous. Even though other people who are white and politicians say the same exact thing a few years ago, but nobody gives a fuck. It's just, it's just racist. It's just basically their de desperate attempt to, do to try to make Donald Trump look bad and it is just ridiculous because they can't present an argument of themselves. So we're going to know the left is media, okay? This is going to be part of the fucking video. The leftist media is basically just destroying itself. It's self-destructing every single day. It's been self-destructing since Donald Trump won the presidency. We really know it completely self-destructing with the Mueller testimony. I've been noticing this shit within the past few weeks. The, the fucking leftist media has been completely, you know what I'm saying, self-destructing, as I've been saying, because the Mueller testimony came in. They put way too much anticipation. They, they, they tried way too hard to make it seem like... Robert Mueller was going to fucking do all this random ass shit to try to, you know what I'm saying, that new information that's going to make Donald Trump guilty with the goddamn Mueller testimony, but the, nothing happens in the testimony. He couldn't even cite his own goddamn documents. He had no idea what he was talking about. He couldn't even answer questions. Basically just embarrassed himself and made himself even look worse than the entire Russia, Russia investigation was to begin with. So they be, he, they're basically falling apart because of that, and they're falling apart even more simply because Donald Trump, okay, Donald Trump simply, and I would say Donald Trump within the past few weeks has single-handedly destroyed the entire Democratic Party, and along with them self-destructing as time goes by, you know what I'm saying, as, as, as the years go by, they're basically just self-destructing, now they're self-destructing even more, and Donald Trump is basically destroying them simply, obviously, when he sent that goddamn tweet, well, obviously, you know what I'm saying, he sent the goddamn tweet, quote-unquote, telling congresswomen to go back to the country, and you know what I'm saying, you really think that Donald Donald Trump, when he sent that tweet telling congresswomen to go back to their country, that he wasn't, you know, he didn't think that he was going to cause controversy. No, he did that shit on purpose. He's literally manipulated the media because he knows that they're going to report on every little thing that he says and they're going to skew everything he says as racist. So he knew that the media was going to report on that. And Donald Trump had it to where now the entire Democratic Party, the face of the Democratic Party is four fucking politicians, okay, four Radical leftists, radical Democrats. You have Ian Omar, who is basically a 9-11 apologist. You have fucking AOC, okay? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, radical fucking Democrat, wants people to pay trillions of dollars for no reason. A radical fucking Democrats. He made, she made them the face of the Democrat Party, and they're basically turning on each other, turning on moderate Democrats. It is just ridiculous. So Donald Trump single-handedly did. Now he's doing it again! Okay, Donald Trump is literally doing it again with the whole entire tweet about the whole Baltimore situation, which again, as I said, was him basically stating a fucking fact. So we already got to talk about this guy. Let's get into it. Okay, we had to talk about this fucking shit. So we already know Donald Trump simply just sends a tweet. Okay, I believe it was a few days ago. Basically sends a tweet. Not only is he exposing the radical leftists and the radical Democrats who want to enforce socialism. You know what I'm saying? You have him basically exposing the incompetence. Okay, exposing the incompetence of the Democratic Party once again, you know what I'm saying, and how they basically destroy their goddamn communities. And he basically did it again where he's basically pointing out simple facts, okay, simple facts, and of course awakening a lot of people and realizing, getting people to realize that Donald Trump is actually telling the truth, my nigga. So we already know he was talking about Baltimore and he was referring to the person that's supposedly supposed to be representing or doing shit about Baltimore, which is obviously Baltimore, Maryland. We already know apparently it's literally the most dangerous country to live in. I did not know that shit, okay? I literally thought Chicago or Detroit was the most most dangerous city to live in, but apparently it's Baltimore in terms of the murder rate. So Baltimore is a terrible fucking city. Who the fuck wants to live in Baltimore? 
Okay, that's not racist. Me saying that is not racist. If the crime rate is that high, why would anyone want to live in Baltimore? The people who literally live in this goddamn city, this crime rat infested city, literally live there because they want to get out. Okay, they literally, they couldn't help themselves. You know what I'm saying? They probably grew up there or some shit or something like that. And their main goal, which is probably why all the violence happens, because they're literally trying to get out of the goddamn streets. You know what I'm saying? That's why people live in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? So where do you know Donald Trump basically points out a basic fact that people have been knowing for a long time, which is obviously the crime rate in Baltimore and obviously the rat infestation. It's been like going on for years now. I don't know how long it's been going on for, but at least for the last five years, there's been lots of rats crawling around Baltimore. It's basically a rodent infested, rat infested mess. And it is just not an organized city. Okay. Literally, if you go there, literally looks like you're in a third world country, third world country, because it is literally a poor fucking city, too much goddamn violence. And it's rats are fucking crawling around all over the damn place. So Donald Trump basically just points out that basic fact. He points out that basic fucking fact. Okay, and apparently it's racist. And he basically just exposed the fucking, because apparently according to the left, because the left, obviously, they make everything about race because they are the real fucking racist. Everything that, you know what I'm saying, everything, you know, it has to be about race, okay? If you say anything negative, if you're a white person, you say anything negative about someone who just happens to be black, that means you're racist. Even though Donald Trump is literally just attacking the character or attacking the character of what someone's doing or what someone isn't doing, pretty much every time he insults someone is basically about their character and what they're doing or what they're not doing. You know what I'm saying? But apparently that's racist because a white person can't say anything negative about a black person because black people are just little fucking victims that need to be fuck, need to be carried, that need to be have, having all this special treatment. You can't say anything negative about it. You're a waste, racist, white supremacist. It's just ridiculous. So Donald Trump simply points out that fact. Points out a fact. And it gets to even fucking hilarious because people who literally live in Baltimore, people who literally live in Baltimore are saying, yeah, they agree with Donald Trump. It's not even just agreeing. It's a fact. That, that, that there's a, lots of problems in Baltimore and the Democrats who run that city does not do shit. And the funniest part, okay, I'm going to get into two other shit in the, later in the goddamn video. But the funniest part about this shit, Monica, is that you have, okay, the fucking, you have, a, obviously, as I said, people literally live in Baltimore, basically are just doing that shit, you know what I'm saying, basically agreeing with Donald Trump and saying, yeah, there is actually is rat infest and I don't know what the fuck y'all people are talking about. But it came to the point where you literally have... Nay, okay, all these cities, it's not just Baltimore, and that's why Trump is awakening people, the fact that Democrats don't do shit for a lot of terrible fucking communities, a lot of terrible cities. Look at all, name one city, okay, name one city that's not ran by Democrats, that's terrible and awful. It is just ridiculous, okay, it is just ridiculous. You literally, all the dangerous cities in this country, you have fucking Chicago, Detroit, you have fucking Baltimore, I'm pretty sure plenty of other goddamn cities, Memphis, you never got, you never fucking know. You have all these cities, they are all ran by Democrats. Why do black people vote for them? And that come, it literally comes to that simple shit, Monica. Why do black people vote for these people if they are literally get, getting sold out? They're not doing shit. Democrats are literally voted in. People are five years later. You got you have fucking rats still crawling in there. The fucking black on black crime still, you know what I'm saying, reaching, you know what I'm saying, still still happening to a very huge extent. You know what I'm saying? Like what what are Democrats doing for black people? It's literally nothing. And all the terrible cities are ran by Democrats. They fuck that place up. They don't do shit for them. So Donald Trump is basically exposing that shit. But the funniest part, the funniest fucking part, and this is not even the funniest part, the second funniest part, actually, my nigga, the fucking, the second funniest part is that you had this motherfucker, I believe his name was Victor Blackwell, because obviously CNN, obviously CNN, everything is racist on CNN. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, you know what I'm saying? Everything is racist on CNN. Every time you say anything negative about a fucking person that has to be black, you're pointing out legitimate problems that need to be solved. It's racist, okay? You're supposed to, you're supposed to be a little, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be a little politically correct fucking, you know what I'm saying? Racist. You're basically supposed to be a fucking racist, okay? A racist on the left who just judges everyone based off the color of their skin, which is all CNN does. Where do you know? You have this motherfucker, Victor Blackwell, okay? I have no idea who this nigga was, but Victor Blackwell goes in, right? He goes in, and he's literally crying. He's crying on national television. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on, Monica? He's crying on national television just because of Donald Trump's tweet. Like, how is this even possible? Donald Trump states a simple fact, and you're crying on television. Like, it is just ridiculous. Like, it is just pathetic. So he's literally crying his eyes out on television. Or you people say it's fake tears. People literally crying on television just because Donald Trump states a fact. And he's like, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I lived in Baltimore. I like, who the fuck loves living in Baltimore? I'm pretty sure most people who live in Baltimore don't even want to live there. You know what I'm saying? They're literally trying to get out of that shit. Like, just admit it. It's a terrible fucking city. Terribly governed. Democrats don't do shit for them. So he's literally crying on national television just because Donald Trump states a fact. If that doesn't prove that CNN does not like facts and they think facts are racist, I don't know what will. But where do you know the main fucking thing is that Bernie Sanders, 
Bernie Sanders, Monica, three years ago, back in 2016, Bernie Sanders literally said the same exact thing about Baltimore. But, oh, it's not racist. Since he's a Democrat running for president, he can't go wrong. Nothing's wrong with him. He's not racist. Perfectly fine. Bernie Sanders says the same exact thing about Baltimore, how there's literally, it's literally rat infested. But of course, Bernie Sanders just goes on CNN and calls everything racist. It is just ridiculous, okay? It is literally just ridiculous. It just proves more democratic hypocrisy. So that's literally the funniest hypocrisy about in all this, other than the fact that they're stating facts and people who literally live in Baltimore can prove to you as a fact when they agreed with Donald Trump. It is just ridiculous. So people are awakening to this goddamn shit, okay? People are literally awakening to this goddamn shit. So it is just ridiculous. So again, Donald Trump is literally getting people to realize that Democrats do not do shit for black people and they literally do not fix their own communities and he is basically just holding, he's basically just holding accountability to the people that are not doing anything about the particular problems. You know what I'm saying? So that's all Donald Trump is doing, that's all Donald Trump is saying and Donald Trump, he's already done enough. Like he's done so much things, so many great things for black people, you just gotta do your own goddamn research to the goddamn shit. So that, that's, my, that's my fucking take on this goddamn shit. Democrats don't do shit for black people, they basically just complain about racism all the time, everything is fucking racist and it comes to the point where literally telling the truth is racism because they don't have any other legitimate argument. So Donald Trump, as I said, he's completely making the D Democratic Party continue to self-destruct and destroying them in the process and he's obviously making the Democratic Party now he's exposing the incompetence of Democrats and now they don't do shit for any of the terrible fucking communities that are in this country. So, anyways, tell me to think in the comment section. Just, just ridiculous ass shit from the fucking left, from, from CNN, from the Democrats. They are basically just falling apart and people are realizing this shit. So, anyways, tell me to think in the comment section. Just, it's your boy, the sauce. Make sure you check fucking out of here. Peace.